guys, today I'm going to be comparing chemical and mineral sunscreen. If you want to see how they both apply on my skin, please keep on watching. Wait. So if you don't know the difference between chemical and mineral sunscreen, let's start with chemical sunscreen. Chemical sunscreen absorbs into the skin, then it absorbs the UV rays and it converts to heat. You'll notice that they always contain octinoate, octisylate, avobenzone and um, oxybenzone. On the other hand, the mineral sunscreen, which is also known as the physical sunscreen, absorbs into the skin and reflects the sun rays. You notice that they always contain titanium dioxide or zinc oxide. So today we're going to be comparing the Neutrogena Ultra Share Dry Touch Sunscreen and the Neutrogena Zinc Share Dry Touch Sunscreen. Right, so these are the two sunscreens right here we're going to be comparing. So this one is the chemical sunscreen, while this one is the mineral or the physical sunscreen. I've posted separate reviews on them. This one, separate review. This one was a comparison review with the Hydro Boost. If you want to see these videos, I'm just going to leave a link right there or just check the description box for my sunscreen playlist. So I'm going to put this one on this side and this one on this side. Normally, I would advise you guys to go in with the um, three finger metal to apply the sunscreen so it can cover up your, you know, face, neck and ears. So this is the quantity I'm going to be going in with. And this is small, but I want to just use this size um, for today's video. I know some people will say this is too much sunscreen. Please, it is not too much sunscreen, okay? You guys can see how this one is just going in. So you guys can see that this leaves me with a bit of paint. It's white actually. This one leaves me with a cast, which is why I prefer the Hydro Boost to this one um, because the Hydro Boost will leave my skin as clear as this, just a little bit shiny, um, right? So for the next sunscreen, I won't be going with that much amount, but I'll be doing it in bits till I get to that amount. <laughs> Let me just bring out the whole amount first. This is a lot runny. So this is runnier than the other one so walking in bits is just me tapping it on like that So this is the Shea Zinc Dry Touch in SPF 50 and this is the Ultra Shea Dry Touch in SPF 45. You both leave me with a cast. I'm just going to leave it on for like 15 minutes and I'll be back to show you guys what my face looks like. So guys, I am back and this is what I have here has completely absorbed into my skin. And here, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> But anyway, the only places you notice that has whitest substance are my brow, hair, and my hairline. Good thing about these two sunscreens are they sit well on their makeup and um, I think that's all I wrote here. If you ask me, I would like to say this sunscreen is the worst sunscreen buying to general that I have come across like if you're trying to purchase sunscreen don't you ever I mean it don't you ever buy this if you're not going to be applying makeup on it if you want to go on a run do not purchase this sunscreen you're literally going to look like a joke this reminds me of childhood like when we we're really small and um, parents just put um, baby powder all over our faces to bed this gives me that drama this one is a 50 50 for me sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't. When I used it with this, um, when I compared it with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, I didn't like it at all. Comparing both of them right now, I really like this side. And this one actually leaves you a matte finish, which is 
one thing the hydro boost sunscreen does not leave you with you can definitely go on a run with it but just make sure it doesn't get to your hairline to avoid separation because when it gets to your hairline like i have here you just see some white patches but on your skin just blending well and you're going to have what i have right here if you ask me which of them i prefer i'll go for this one this one remains the worst Neutrogena sunscreen I have ever come across. If you guys found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one.